Hello and welcome to how to use Q modulation. Now when you're dealing with a sound effect such as a footstep like this, you don't want to keep adding loads of different sound effects for the same effect. So what we're going to do is use a Q modulator to randomize the sound uh, effect after the fact. So taking the sound effect, we're going to right click and we're going to click on create Q and then open it up. Now cues allow you to edit and alter uh, sounds before they are uh, output to the player. And when you open one up by uh, start, you'll get the wave player, which is the sound itself, and the output node, which is the final output. In between these two, we're going to use a modulator. So on the right hand side, you'll find the option for a modulator. Drag this out and then hook that up in between the two nodes. Now modulator gives you a couple of options that you can tweak and change and these affect the sound coming out of it randomly. So here we have a pitch and a volume randomizer. So I'm going to change the pitch here to be between 0.6 and 1.4 and we can use that to change the sound effect that comes out of it by a small amount. Normally you want to keep it quite a subtle change so it doesn't sound too off but a subtle change is still going to be noticeable to the player. Okay, so with that done, we're now going to sign up to our animations here so you can see it working. So let's go into my character, look at their animations, and we're going to go to the jog forward here. And I'm just going to go and put a notify track in here. And we'll go for each frame here, play add notify, play sound. And we'll choose the footstep sound cue and go to each slot, add a different one for each position. And you do that for all the different movements you have available to you. This animation set has too many for me to do right now, so we'll just do the forward one. Now, when I push play, the animation shall play as he's running forwards and randomize itself as they are moving through the environment. And there you have it. So using Q modulation, we can add subtle differences to each play of the sound. That gives us a bit more variety without having to do loads more extra work. If you like this snack size how-to guide, check out my Patreon, where there's more videos where you can learn more Unreal Engine 4 stuff, all from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.